Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the weekly spread in my mini happy planner. For this week, since this is the week of St. Patty's in this planner, I figured I would do another St. Patty's theme. The only difference is I haven't done one for this planner. Um, I've only done it for the other two. So I need to catch up. And so I figured for this week I am doing a St. Patty's. So I went on Pinterest and I found one that has two cute pages now they, these i actually uh reduced them in size these are actually the size for the classic happy planner but i shrunk it to fit this planner now i don't remember who these are by i will have a link to her um in the description at the bottom so look out for that i have used her printables before but it's been a long time so now that i am up and looking for printables and printing stuff up i'm going to make sure i write her down in my planner and the size i used for this particular planner so I'm gonna give you a close up of these cute images so you guys can see how pretty they are. You get two pages, which I always love when you have a lot to choose from because that means I have less things to fill in. Super cute, I love these. I can't wait to cut them out and play with them. So continue watching and see how this spread comes out. So starting off with the first page, um, as you can see, I'm placing my stickers. Now this printable brings a lot of stickers and my goal is to use every single one and I actually do. Uh, but because of that, I'm also taking my time with the first page because this is where I am i don't have a guide. The guide is pretty much the layout of the stickers that I have on the side. So however I have it laid out, I need to make sure that they go exactly how I have it there onto the page. I also have to make sure I cover up the purple lines because um, the washi tape is see-through and I also wanted to make sure the washi tape was a thin green one. Um, that way it you know, was uh, a, a good way to separate each row. I also am um, taking my time with the top area so like the top washi sticker you see is actually a huge one in the, pa in the printable so I actually cut that in half. That way one half goes to one page, the other half goes to the other and then and under that, I'm going to leave the gap area where the days of the week is because I want to make sure that those are seen because the printable does not bring any. And then the ones I have in my stash are not all the same. They're all like different colors and stuff. So I actually wanted to be all the same. So I kept just thought it'd be best just to keep it the way it is with what I have there. So that's why I'm taking my time here. Then I'll bring over the second page and do the exact same thing. But by the time I do the second page, it's a lot easier. I have a guide of the first page. Everything is ready to go. I know exactly how to put things where and it just makes it so much easier that it goes so much faster so from here I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up everything that I'm gonna be doing here and then I'll be done
So here's the final to bring you the weekly spread. It came out really, really nice. I love this. This is so pretty, so simple, and I used every single sticker, and I didn't have to use anything of mine. The only thing I have to still do is put the day, um, the numbers for the days of the week. But I left the days of the week the way they are. I just wanted them small there, but I can still see them. It's really subtle, very beautiful, and I look forward to printing more of her printables. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.